this started, you know? Let me get this started. Doing this for my son, you know, 12 years old. Every time I go outside, one of his young boy friends be like, yo, Pops, how you get the, you know, how you get your shits wavy? Young boy. So, Mr. Old Tech, you know, I'm from Philly, you know, I really think we pioneered it, you know what I'm saying? But first of all, I'm doing this. I don't know if I'm going to do a channel or not, just having fun with it, you know. I'm not an elite waver, you know, I'm working on it. I got some spots here. I used to have dreads when I, when I used to bounce at the club. And some girls got in a fight, pulled a couple of my locks out, so got a little, you know, light spot here. So if it grows in, you won't be able to tell. But when these young boys, you know, they want to know how to do it, you know, this you can go online, like on YouTube. My son put me on this kid named 360 Jeezy, and what he do. He writing exact. He writing exactly what he do. You know, his technique, his personality is friendly. You know, you know, so y'all can listen to him because he definitely know what he's talking about. You know what I mean? He definitely know what he's talking about. The board, Sir Sir Cruz, and like, then we get straight to the point. Look, stop leaving comments. Let me get real up close. Stop leaving comments, you know, after I already stated what was going on. It's just simple. It's just hair. Just, it's just hair. Just brush. Brush. Use some smoothie. You know, uh, my eyes are green. But no, tell the crew, you do your thing, young man. I like that. You get it in. So, you know what I mean? I'm just telling y'all what to do right now. It's just brushing. Brushing the pattern. Know how your hair goes. You know? I'm not an elite weaver because this thing I need to work on. Like this crown. You know? But everything comes in time. Just keep brushing. Just keep brushing. You know? You know, I brush. Anytime I go to the bathroom. You know what I mean? Anytime I go to the bathroom, I brush. You know, and I put the wave cap back on or stocking cap. Right now, just so I had a ski mask, so it's kind of cold out here in Philly. So I use that too, you know, for compression. You know, I got some issues. Like I said, I'm not an elite waver. I got, I get the fade, you know, I got a lot of meat back here. Get the fade, you know, get a nice little shape up. And it'll come back, you know, I mean, I mean, I come back, you know, it just take time. You know, it just take time to get what you really want. And you just got to keep doing it, you know. Just keep brushing. L listen to the ball. Listen to the ball. was 360 cheesy. I like to remind me of myself when I was younger doing it, you know. I mean, I, I ain't doing this serious as him, you know. I wasn't really into my hair. I had locks, but before that. You know, in grade school, being a young boy, that's all we used to do is brush our hair. My mind wouldn't have it no other way. And I also use this plastic method, too. When I was in my early 20s, I got locked up during some fed time. You know, selling them, selling them, them, them hammers, you know what I'm saying? Them fire sticks, Native Americans call them. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not glorified, I'm not proud of it, you know, I did my time. You know, but we picked up on these. We didn't have brushes like that all the time. So we used to use the, you know, the plastic to lay it down. It gives it a different look. Gives it a different lay down. Gives it a different lay down. Like I said, I'm new to this camera work and everything. I don't know how to time lap or anything like that. You know, that gives a whole different way to it. You know, I try to use all natural products, you know. I do from time to time to soften my hair before a brushing session. I use some of this here. Enhancer, Philly Enhancer Smoothie. You know, the typical stuff you see that everybody use on the internet. 
I do the Jamaican, Jamaican castor oil, jasmine in my beard, you know, uh, you know, comb it out, it's a small teeth to the mustache, I can even go through the beard with that, you know, but, you know, thinking about doing this thing, but after you do the plastic bag thing, you do the plastic and you get your hair nice laid out. No, I ain't putting nothing in because, you know, I had a little brush session earlier. But like I said, when I go to the bathroom, you know, and handle my business from time to time, I take it off. I take it off and, you know, take this off and put this on. It's a little cheap thing. I get like three or four. You know, they last pretty long. But I don't mind the lines. I got the, the uh, Sue rag. But when you order the Sue rag, make sure you order it at least two times smaller than your head size because it's stretch. And that's, you know, it, you know, it doesn't have that hole. So I bought a... A 1X. I'm a big dude. I bought a 1X, but I should have bought a medium. You know, because it just stretches. It's, it's no good. You know, it's good material, but it's no compression once you stretch. So I use these to get like two or three for some good compression. And the line, I don't mind. I can just rub it out before, you know what I mean, before I go out or whatever. So I put this on nice and tight. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? And I only had one of these right now on me. So, like I said earlier, uh, I can't even find it. Uh, earlier, I was outside detailing my car. You know, it was kind of cold, so I threw this little uh, ski mask 